food truck teams, welcome to San Francisco, and welcome back to the great food truck race. Hey everybody, Tyler Florence here on set with the Great Food Truck Race and I'm about to take you on another epic journey for the extra mile. And this time, we are in my home turf of San Francisco, California. I hope you're hungry because we are gonna explore the best of the San Francisco Bay. Let's get going. San Francisco. Some leave their hearts, others leave their appetites. This season, we're gonna take you along the way as we sample some of my favorite spots. We'll start with a place many would consider the heart of San Francisco's culinary scene, the Ferry Building, where Executive Director Christine Farron will give us a look at what is undoubtedly one of the best farmers markets in the world. This really is the hub of the food community in San Francisco. Here we are on the northeast corner of the city, We've got the Bay Bridge, you know, facing Oakland. Yep. We're connected right to the financial district. And it's this hub and energy. And all of these farmers are coming only from California. So that's one distinction of California farmers markets is that the produce has to be grown in California. Yep. But that is an embarrassment of riches for us. We are getting beef from grasslands in Marin. Yep. We're getting citrus from the Central Valley that needs that high heat and high cold. We have artichokes from Watsonville and Santa Cruz area because it needs that cool coastal climate coming in. So just the amount of produce that we have and the variety of produce is really phenomenal. We work with about 120 farmers. This is very much uh, the way the urban and the rural connect. I lived in New York City for a really long time and I love New York, but, but once you get out here and you start having that connection with the local farmers, to me it was just, my food just got better overnight. Well, there's a fundamental difference between farmers that are growing for wholesale produce distribution and farmers that are growing for, for direct marketing, selling directly to consumers. Yeah. And there are all of these relationships that develop over the years. I think that's one of the special things about farmers markets also. When you come to the market, you connect with other people and it's why for me, I look forward to the market. The farmers market's been here for 27 years. The ferry building itself has been here since the late 1800s. So this building is always a portal for people, and then it became a portal for freight, and now it's been reborn over the last 17 years, I think, as a food hall and a mecca for people to come to for artisanal, delicious, flavor-forward food. And it's not just farmers here, there's also restaurants. Absolutely. Oh, I mean, restaurants, I think, are part of it. You want to come and have breakfast, sit down, watch the bay, meet with your friends and neighbors, get everything you're going to need for the week, and then be off. Everybody hears about how epic and, and glorious the produce is in Northern California. Let's go look at it. Yeah. I think you should try a shinko pear because yeah. the Asian pear. Their most popular pear is, is a shinko, is the Asian pear. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the size of that whole thing. It's so gorgeous. So juicy, but so firm. I think he's in heaven right now. <laughs> So seriously, I take this. I see color when I taste, you know what I mean? It's so incredibly delicious and crunchy too. Nice texture. That'd be great with frise and candied walnuts and you know, nice little textures and black truffle. That'd be great. Yeah. Well, sure. mm. Why not? Why not? <laughs> right? We're not supposed to have favorites in the farmer's market, but I do have to introduce you to Aruna Lee from Volcano Kimchi. How are you? Pleasure. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I love kimchi. I think this is really exciting. So tell me about what you got. Classic Napa cabbage kimchi. Uh -huh. And uh, this is uh, kimchi made from hikama. Wow. And then uh, bok choy kimchi. Tell me about how long you ferment the kimchi for. So kimchi is uh, you don't ferment uh, too long. Right. So probably this is a uh, room temperature two days and then uh, keep in the refrigerator. So it's oh, wow. about two weeks fermented. It's so great. I love kimchi. This is great bacteria for you, man. It's super healthy. Oh, delicious, man. Like, it makes your mouth water. It's so good. I gotta get some of this stuff. So this is a cool thing about coming to the farmer's market, right? You get a chance to kind of hear the stories of the people and the tradition and the recipes and, and how much passion goes in all this stuff. I love it, I really do. This place makes me so happy. This is the porchetta sandwich from Rolla Roti. They do two things really, really well. They roast chicken and they roast porchetta. There's always a line. So good to see you guys. See you too. Yeah, glorious as always, man. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, man. Look at this, dude. I'm hungry. This is what people obviously have been 
you know, standing in line for yeah. four years. Right. The rotisserie chicken craze that's going all the way across America right now started with this. Yeah, Rolly Roti is amazing. I mean, yeah. the, these potatoes are just soaked in all that delicious fat. This is a porchetta sandwich. You get a little bit of everything, man. You get the juicy pork, you get the crispy skin, beautiful, gorgeous ciabatta roll. Well, listen, thank you so much for your time today. It was really fun taking you around the market. I'm glad you were here. It's always so nice to see you and get a chance to kind of walk around and hear these stories again, you know, because it never gets old. That's so incredibly delicious. This is my church, man. This is it. So teams, you're one step closer to winning the grand prize of $50,000. Hey-o! Let's get our trucks and let's get rolling! Everybody, thanks so much for watching The Extra Mile. We're so excited to take you on a behind the scenes tour of some of the greatest restaurants and stops in the city of San Francisco, the city I love the most. And we'll see you guys next week.